Hey, it's your girl, Truck and Diddy. Another video. I'm going to show y'all today what I pull. In case you didn't know, when I um, came over to be an owner operator, um, I started pulling tanks. I pull ISO containers. And so I was like, what's an ISO container? So I'm going to show you. These are ISO containers. Okay? They're tanks. Random stuff in it. Random, random stuff. Come off the ports. Um, so they come from like China, Asia, different places. Nowhere near here. Um, so I get these. Put them on a chassis. We get a lift. Lift and put it on the chassis. And deliver them. And we have um, airbags in the front of our chassis. Where you go unload them. Um, you hook up the fixtures. Hook up the hose to them. And let the product blow off or either air off. You know, you're going to use air at a pump. And there's airbags in front of the chassis. And you can um, put some air in the bags and lift up the chassis and make sure you get all the product out the end, at the bottom of it. So it's straight. It's straight. Um, random stuff in it. Like one of my favorite things to deliver somewhere is the stuff called rodiment. Um, I like it for my personal reasons. Like it's real simple to unload the places where you take it to. They're going to um, take you 24 hours basically. They give you an open window like from 7 a.m. to like 6 p.m. or something like that. But really and truly a lot of them you can take them any time of the day or night. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. I don't have to be there at a set time. I can kind of do my own thing. Sleep in if I want to. Don't if I don't. And it'll be good. But you know, if some wheels ain't turning, no money ain't been made. So, yeah, try to keep it turning. But Rodiment um, is this stuff that they put into. <laughs> it's the stuff that they put into animal feed, um, mostly chicken feed. And they feed it to the chickens and. It helps the chickens grow faster, bigger. I want to say stronger, but I don't really think that's true. So, yeah, bigger and faster. Basically, long story short, stop beating around the bush. It is steroids for chickens. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you have people saying, well, they put all that stuff in the food. Yes, it is absolutely true. It's true. They do put all kind of stuff in the food. You don't know what's in it. Um, but that is the world we live in. Unfortunately, there's no way of getting around, away from it unless you grow your own food, all your own food, and raise your own chickens. And then, even then, you have to be careful because if you raise your own chickens, your own cows, and such like that, you're still going to be probably giving your animals some type of stuff like this because they have to have their um, supplements and vitamins and you're going to buy that from the store somewhere which means you're right back at the same point where you're giving them the same things because if you go like to a farm store and you get like chicken feed, corn feed, cow feed look at the ingredients of in that stuff too like it's in there and it's real sad because it's the world we live in it's kind of stuff that gives people cancer and such but it's how we live in now these days. So I'm just waiting on the dude to come back, to take my box, my uh, tank off the chassis. He went on lunch. Then when he get back, and do that, then we'll do one more run for the day. And I'm probably going to North Carolina to take a load of it tomorrow. No, probably I will. I'm going to North Carolina to take a load of it for tomorrow. So I'll probably get started on that today. Yeah. But I just wanted to show y'all these ISO container tanks. And I know some people have been wondering and asking about it. It's straight. Um, this is what I taught myself to drive a tank with. Um, I didn't know how to drive a 13 speed. I bought a 13 speed truck. So I had to learn how to drive a 13 speed. And then as far as learning how to pull a tank, I what I did was I did a lot of night driving. I would drive at night. Um, I would go through Atlanta at night actually I avoided Atlanta for a good bit like when I was still to teach myself I avoided Atlanta for a good month and after that I started um, wherever I went I was driving at night North Carolina 
Florida, wherever I went, I try to drive at night and get there so that I can deliver first thing in the morning or in the afternoon or whatever the case may be, get close enough, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be messing up my appointment times, but I had to teach myself how to drive these things. And I promise you, it is like they say it's a different beast. It is, but it isn't. Um, I don't want to say that too loudly. Like, I feel like, yes, you do have to be very cautious with it. It, it These things tilt over. Um, <laughs> a little pothole um, will give you a really bad day. A little pothole, like really, it give you a real bad day. Don't run. You can't run through potholes and such like that. You know, a lot of people want to just pull over on the side of the road and grab something out of the back and such like that. You can't really do all that with these tanks. It's um, different. It is different. It definitely will make you drive better, drive safer. Take your time. But once you get going with it, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Y'all know I still don't like to be the slowest thing on the road, so I won't be. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna go take a nap. Like a 10 minute nap, cause I need it. I really need it. I'm wore out. All right though, I'll holla at y'all.